Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React and Node.js series, we will learn how we can integrate product list API in React.js. Uh, I hope you remember that in last part we made a API for product list in Node.js, and now we will call this API in React side. So let's uh, start with the points of the, our video. We will make a component so that we can show our product list there and for that we need to define a function for call api and we, uh, we also need a state so that we can store the data inside that state and uh, then we will call api with the help of fetch and after that we will make a static static list so that i can show you a skeleton of how we can just show a list on our page and then we will render our dynamic product list there and this is my instagram account if you want to follow me there and don't forget to subscribe this channel also so now let's start with the first point and create a component for product list so as you know uh, where we should show the product list we have the different different pages like product add product update product so we will show our list on the uh, product or you can say that on the root page so let's create a component and call it for a moment we just added a static text i can show you in app.jx you can see that on a root path we have just a static h1 text which is a product component now we will replace this text with the component so how we can do that so let's create a component we can just put the name of let's say product list dot js and to save the time i am just copying the code from any other component i am pasting here and uh, let's update it with the proper name and all product list this is our you can see that uh, uh, home page or uh, this is our component nom name not the home page we can remove the class name and we can simply put here the page name for a moment and now let's call it inside the app.js or you can say that in the our root component so let me import product list from components and uh, product list and now let's uh, assign this component inside our element like this great now what we can do here we can see that the output is there but we just need to add in some style also but we will do it later but first call the api so uh, this is our api we can call it with the postman uh, even in last video we already tested it but still we can just see that after calling it we are getting uh, around five results with the name category price and everything so now let's call it inside the product list so what i'm going to do here first i'm defining a state so let's say my state name is product products basically and for set state i am putting here uh, products set products and uh, this is basically a use state and we can by default put a value is blank array now i am making a use effect and uh, as we know it will take a callback function as a parameter and in the second parameter we can put here blank array so that we can call it only once our component is mount so now i am calling here a function with the name of let's say get product products or product and inside this function we will call our api even you can directly call api inside the use effect but this is a good practice to make a separate function uh, for call apis so let me take here const and uh, now what we can do here we can take a uh, let result and let's choose here fetch inside fetch what we can do we can call our api url 
and uh, as we know it will return a promise so that we can use here await and we can uh, call await only inside the async function so i am putting here async keyword also result will uh, return a readable promise Re you can say that read stream not it will it will not return a json format to convert in the json format we have to call it js uh, result dot json function and again it will again it will uh, return a promise that's why i need to again add here await and now what we can do here we can just set here our products or you can see that product state and let's declare result inside it and everything is working fine or not if you want to check that then we can just make a console dot one and uh, we can call here our products inside it uh, why this is not uh, auto completing it i don't know but now let's check i hope everything is working fine you can see that we are getting here five results in array great so now what we can do here i am just making a static list here or you can say that this is our header list so inside it i am taking a li and inside it i can put here serial number then uh, we can take some more allies for name and for uh, price for category and all and now let's see what we are getting on as output i think we need to just refresh it what happened with it why this is not showing this okay my bad actually i just need to add it only inside the return statement i don't know why i just just put on that area that is okay but our list cannot be like this it should be in a row it should not be in a column so we have to just update this with a some style so i am putting here my class name is let's say product product list and uh, let's add some style on that class so dot product list and now i am putting here text align center margin top let's say 50 pixel and now let's check the output this is in the, in the center that's okay but still we have to change it in a single uh, row so now let's simply add here product list ul li and to change it from row to column we can simply do it display inline block and now you can see that this is uh, in a row but uh, still this is not working fine because they are just like only a single string so what we can do here i can just provide the width 150 pixel and now we can provide the border one pixel solid and sky blue and uh, after that we can provide here uh, padding five pixel and now it's look like a proper list so i am just again copying it from there and pasting on the style so all right so now this is our static list so now uh, let's try to just add some static data our list should be look like this but now you will find that there is a one more 
thing that we must to fix that which is margin on a bottom of this list so that let's let me just add here just uh, remove this margin from the ul margin you can specifically remove the margin bottom and margin top but we can just remove the margin we don't need it now they are actually look like a table so now let's uh, render this state which is product state uh, with the map function so i am just removing it i don't need it so here let's put here products dot map and uh, we can just simply put here callback function and as we know we need to just need again a ul inside it let's paste it now what you will find here you can see that we just get this data repeatedly so here we will get the two items first one is item second one is index or you can say that key so let me just update this serial number with the index and now you will find that this is started with the zero so how we can fix it just simply put here plus one and if you want to just provide a key then you can also do do that you can simply put here item and now let's change this item name with the item dot name and uh, name is also dynamic now price and categories are static and we can change them also item dot price and item dot category great now we have all data in a, a dynamic form and uh, in the upcoming videos we will just uh, add some uh, operations like delete operation update operation and all and uh, we will perform these operation also we will create more apis so that don't forget to subscribe this channel provide your feedback in comment box and like this video so that this video can be reached to the more peoples and uh, I will just get more motivation to make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.